In a normal year, the Dassel Cocado High School football field is where you would find Don Gilman's two sons, Eli and Monty. They'd be running right up and down this field here, playing football with their teammates. But the pandemic, schools not returning in ways we had expected. We all know what happened. And with that, last month, the state decided no fall sports. It's been a bummer. It's a high school like routine for me because I I've been participating in it for as long as I can remember and now it's just gone. The Gilmans, they're not alone. Dawn says she started a Facebook group called Let Them Play Minnesota. It gained over 16,000 followers over the past week. In it, parents, athletes, and coaches laying out reasons why they should be playing football, dancing, running cross country, and playing volleyball right now. That was the big takeaway I had with our, our meeting with the Sanford doctors is that they've seen a double um, a double in um, suicidal thoughts, mm -hmm. tendencies, the anxiety and depression, and that students are just resorting to other things and they're becoming like their cell phones because that's what they're spending their time and energy on. Do you worry at all that maybe Monty or Eli might get sick? You know, honestly, I am not, I'm not fearful. Not at all. And honestly, if they if they do get it, I know that we can support their immune system and we're doing that already. Mm -hmm. So I'd encourage all you student athletes start getting to bed earlier. Gilman says on top of athletes mental health, empty bleachers mean they're also missing out on scouts who might be looking to recruit. They're going to other states. They're going to go where other kids are playing. And so, yeah. I'm excited for Minnesota to come on board. And the Big Ten announcement? She says it's a play that she hopes the high school leagues can copy. Our local rep had talked with the governor the other night, and he said, let's see what shakes down with the Big Ten. And he said he would be all for this. So I'm excited to talk with them today and see um, if we can move forward. So Don says he actually met with the governor today at 4 o'clock to talk about this thing, and she's hoping that the decision will come down in the athlete's favor. And speaking of the Minnesota State High School League, they announced today that they will be having a special meeting about this very topic next Monday. That meeting is at 9 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, Sharon, thank you so much. Just had a conversation with Randy Shaver, as you know, who loves high school football more than anything. So all eyes uh, from Randy are especially on that Monday meeting as well. Thank you for that report.